1039 The Bear, Jenna Jacobs here backstage, Rock on the Range 2010 with Tobin, the bass player of Papa Roach. How you doing, man? Doing great. I'm excited to be here. Well, I am so excited to see you guys. Okay, the first time I saw you was in 2003 in South Bend, Indiana, home of Notre Dame. And you seriously just changed my perspective of rock and roll. The chemistry you guys have on stage, everything like that, I think I've seen you 10 plus times after that. Did the chemistry just develop or did you have it right from the get-go? I think it's something that definitely we had right from the get-go. Um, just the four of us, the way we are together, you know, I mean, we're really close even off the stage. I grew up together and, uh, you know, I think Jacoby's like one of the best front men, you know, in rock and roll and that helps. And we just, we, we always just kind of like channel that like old school, like just punk rock fucking like when we were little kids like playing little dives and shit back in the day we still kind of have that same intensity when we get on stage in front of whatever 30,000 people you know or 3,000 whatever and that's what I love about seeing you guys live I tell people all the time if you want to see a killer live rock show go see Papa Roach just because of what you guys bring to the table it's just amazing speaking of live too you guys have a live record coming out now you're it's time for Annihilation coming out in August tell me about that um, yeah, time for annihilation. It's uh, it's we were actually when we were on tour with Shine Down last year, we recorded about five shows, and yeah, so we took the you know the best songs, like the most popular fan favorites, and uh, we're we're gonna put out a record that's gonna be like ten or eleven live songs, and then five brand new songs that I'm really excited about. Now, the first brand new song that you're going to release, is it Kicking the Teeth? Yeah, Kicking the Teeth is going to be the single that's coming out. So excited for that. What was the inspiration behind that song? Um, you know what? I don't, I don't know. I don't, well, I think it's just a, you know, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. And, you know, Jacoby has that tattooed on him. And that's definitely how we've kind of felt, I think, as a band in this industry. We've been here for a long time, like, you know, we've been through a lot of bullshit, but we're still here. And um, it's just making us better, a better band, stronger, you know, personally and, you know, musically. So I guess maybe that could be what it's about. I don't know. And you guys have a new record label now, too. It's 11.7, home of Motley Crue, Drowning Pool, all that. Uh, how are they really supporting this new live album? Because it's your first live one. Well, this is, yeah, I mean, we basically just wanted to get off our major uh, label that we were on. Contract was up, you know, we got the fuck out, and now we're doing it all ourselves, and I, I think we prefer it that way. We have a little bit more control, and, um, you know, it's, that's just, that's how it should be, especially for a band like Papa Roach, because we've been doing this for a long time, we know uh, what we want, and we're very aware of the, of the business side of things and working with 11-7 uh, is great and the bands that you know are working also on 11-7 are great bands and they're all doing really good things and it just shows you know what it if you get with the right people and all guns are firing then good shit's gonna happen when I logged on to your guys' MySpace a few months ago and all of a sudden the top banner just said new music coming soon, I was just like, oh, really? Because I didn't hear of anything. So is there going to be something else after the live album? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, we're going to keep making music, keep writing, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll put out another batch of five songs. Maybe, maybe that'll be like the new thing that we do with like some special added you know, bonus things, because putting out records nowadays, it's a little different. It's a little different. Well, no matter what you guys do, I know it's going to rock. You guys freaking rock our faces off all day, every day. So good luck today. You guys are just about to take the stage later on this afternoon. Yes, we are. I'm really excited to uh, be sharing the stage with uh, Deftones tonight. I'm excited to see them and uh, Rise Against. It's going to be great. Well, thank you so much. It was great meeting you. For Rock 1039, the mayor behind stage for Rock on the Range 2010. Rock on.